What did you learn in school that has since been proven false? That I can't use my notes in life. TF does that even mean? I'm always looking at my notes when I do my job. My college professors aren't going to nice and lend me a pencil if I forgot one. That cracking your fingers gives arthritis. Funny enough. Just had a conversation with my wife and my son about George Washington's wooden teeth. They were not wooden. He actually had lost all his teeth by 30 and is known to have had at least four sets of dentures. In a social psychology course in college, I was taught that, among other things, you could prime people to walk more slowly by saying elderly themed words to them. In the very next semester, I took a research capstone course where our textbook was a book called The Seven Deadly Sins of psychology. And in that book they debunked that exact study about priming. Not sure when the book was published in comparison to when I took the social psych class. But it's likely that the social psych professor, who I hated for other reasons, was teaching us already disproven studies as if they were fact. I'm still flabbergasted by it to this day. That my permanent record was permanent or even existed, and that it would somehow affect my actual life. Ain't nobody offering me drugs. WTF. We learned the planet name mnemonic. My very easy method just speeds up naming planets. My very easy method just seems useless now. That you taste different things. Bitter. Sweet. Sour. Etc on different parts of your tongue. I remember in elementary school doing the experiment where you drop liquids on different parts of your tongue to taste the difference. Turns out that's bullshit. You taste everything everywhere on your tongue in the experiment worked by confirmation bias. Detentions, suspensions will go on your permanent record. The food pyramid brought to you by Big Grain. For some reason I learned in school that you can suck venom out of a snake bite. Don't do that. In elementary school it was the four food groups. By high school it was the food pyramid. Once I got to college it was my plate. Who knows what it'll become next because nutrition is always changing. Asbestos the wonder material. Now when you see it the dude carrying it is wearing a nuclear proof spacesuit. That if I got into drugs I'd be doomed to a life of taking terrible jobs. I ended like that and I never even got to take any drugs. That we would all be fully converting to the metric system by the 80s. That college professors were hardcore. My freshman year my physics professor made us throw tennis balls around for an entire lecture. My congressman represents me. Marijuana is a gateway drug. Alcohol. It was always alcohol. That shit won't fly in the real world. Meanwhile, that shit in the real world. Airplane. That I needed to play the recorder. That I'd never be conveniently walking around with a calculator in my pocket. Though tbh. At the time, the concept would have been a little weird. That future jobs will care about my permanent record and my GPA. None of these fuckers have asked about my grades or GPA. They keep asking me if I can come in early. Cover some guy's shift. Stay late. Work weekends. Work holidays. Work my days off. Man. When I think back on all the crap I learned in high school, it's a wonder I can think at all. That if I went to college I would get a good job and be able to buy a big house with a pool. That there was only enough oil to last until 2010. That good handwriting will matter. Dot now I press keys on the computer every day. That blood is blue when unoxygenated. This wasn't actually taught in the curriculum. But one day there was a group of kids in my class arguing with me about it. So we asked the teacher to tell us who was right. 
she froze with a deer in the headlights expression. And I knew in that moment that she had no idea. However, she then decided to agree with the other kids that blood is in fact blue. All the other kids pointed at me and laughed. And I lost a little bit of the faith I had that adults knew what they were doing. My being, gifted student, was mostly just undiagnosed ADHD and a self-imposed need to prove I was as good as they said I was. But I almost never did my homework. I was just really good at taking tests and pulling my ass out of the fire at the last minute. Turns out when you're never given the tools to be able to learn how to focus and don't get the social skills you need because you're an awkward tilde academic introvert tilde. It does not bode well for your adulthood. No child left behind. My ass. The food pyramid isn't so correct after all smiley face. That high school was the best years of our lives. Albert Einstein wasn't bad at math. He was always really, really good at it. Not sure how or why my teacher thought that would motivate or make me less of a dipshit at math. I wasn't sitting there not getting it thinking. If only Einstein was stupid too. Once. Quote. That when Columbus, discovered, North America everyone thought the world was flat. You won't get anywhere by cheating or lying. Tell that to your average politician.